Hi guys, this is James from Devil's Paintbrush. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks since my last video. Uh, school holidays, that sort of thing. This was supposed to be up uh, for Valentine's Day, clearly, as it's a Valentine tanks that I got on the Warlord promotion. They were half price, so I picked up two of them. So I'm going to do a quick review, and I've got one painted up from a previous adventure, and then I'm going to talk through what I'm going to do next as a project. So, um, Come back in a couple of secs guys and I'll have one of these boxes open and we can see what's going Hi on. Hi guys and welcome back and this is the Valentine in all its glory straight out of the packet. Comes in a bubble wrap bag and these metal components come in a standard Ziploc bag. Now the hull and tracks are one piece which is lovely. I don't know if you can see the detail on this thing. There you go. Look at the detail. Here's obviously you. Valentine Mark II. There are, I think, 11 versions of the Valentine. Up guns right up to a 75mm, but this has a two pounder gun. And as you can see, there's a little bit of flashing in the wheels, which is easily, easily dealt with. But apart from that, clean, crisp, lovely detail. And the turret. Again, lovely detail. The metal components, I have actually cleaned these up. There was a bit of flashing on them, but not too much. So you've got your two headlights, your two pounder gun, your Beza machine gun, and your turret hatch. This is one of the headlights that popped off. And there's your tank commander. Let's see if I can zoom in on him. There you go. As usual, Warlord's excellent standard. So. That is, let's refocus, there you go. That is the Valentine II British Infantry Tank, the successor to the Matilda. Lovely little tank, uh, used in pretty much every theatre, in some degree, Burma and Northwest Europe as um, support tanks, but mainly Africa, Sicily and Italy were these used. So, if you join me in a second, I'll come up the um, painted one I've done, and then we'll go over what my next project is. Welcome be. back, and as you can see in front of you, there is my painted Valentine too. Now, at first glance, you think it's in Russian colours, but it is not. It is actually in British colours. Burma. For that, for actual fact, I did a bit of research. This was going to be in my. Um, Chinned it for us. They uh, used Valentine tanks in the first Arakan campaign to limited success due to the general condition of Burmese terrain. But yes, this one is really lovely to paint. But this one is going to be repainted uh, to go in line with my next project which if you join me in a set guys I'll tell you Hi all guys, about and welcome back and now I'm going to talk about the project that I'm going to be doing later on this year because I have so much other stuff going on and commission bits and bobs so it's probably not going to happen until probably the middle of the year maybe autumn time but um, I'm going to be doing a bolt action tank wars force based on the 26th Armoured armor Brigade, the 6th Armoured Division, and they landed in Tunisia. And they were unique in the British Army because they had a mixture of Valentine infantry tanks and Crusader cruiser tanks. Crusader tanks are incredibly fast but lightly armoured. Valentines, very, very slow but very heavily armoured. And what they did they used the Crusaders heavier six pounder gun to go up against the heavier German armour but using their speed and manoeuvrability to outflank them and they used the Valentines to soak up punishment and even the two pounder gun even in 1943 was still capable of penetrating the earlier marks of the Panzer III and Panzer IV and even the later models from the rear. So I'm going to be basing this on the uh, blade force 
which is um, mainly made up of the 17th 21st Lancers and they're um, called the Death and Glory Boys. They have a long history in the British Army. Um, most famously, where the motto came from, was the Charge of the Light Brigade at the Battle of Balaclava in 1854. They're called the Death or Glory Boys because their um, cab badge is a skull and crossbones with the motto or glory underneath. And um, if I feel like it, because of um, these guys rushed through and stopped the German advance out of the Kasserin Pass after they uh, defeated the Americans, actually picked up three abandoned M3 Lees and put them onto their HQ company. And that will be uh, another future project for me to do, to get some Lees into this force. Um, so there you go. I am going to do a specific unboxing and review of this lovely little thing here. A Rubicon kit. Rubicon models are fantastic. I've only done a Tiger and the um, Stowage Sprue, but the detail is fantastic. The build quality is fantastic. The, the way it goes together is just brilliant, and the fact that all of them have single piece tracks. There's none of this fiddling around with tra track links. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be a future video, hopefully coming up in the next week or so. So, as usual, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you do, please pop a like, kind of helps things out. Um, any comments or ideas of you guys how I can um, get these things going faster, that'd be brilliant. Um, and as usual, thanks for watching.